Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Orly Breathable Spice It Up collection. There are six polishes here all together. These are available right now, so I will link the Orly website down below and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Caught Off Gourd, and this is described as an orange-yellow cream. Great formula, a little bit sheer on the first coat, but it does go on very even. It's a little bit more of a crelly finish, so it does have that slight sheerness to it. It builds fairly well on the second coat, but I still felt like it could be more opaque, so I went ahead and added a third coat, and this also dried a little bit more sheer than it was when it was wet, so I needed that third coat even more. It covered completely for me in three coats, and it did dry a little bit darker than it was when it was wet. So that is three coats of Caught Off Gourd. The next polish is called Yam It Up, and Orly just describes this as an orange, but it's a kind of like burnt, muted, slightly darker fall orange. This has a great formula. It's very creamy. It's not crelly at all like the last one, so the coverage is a lot better, and it levels itself out really nicely. This easily covered in two coats, and you can see here it dried significantly darker than when it was wet. So that is two coats of Yam It Up. The next polish is called Rooting For You, and this is described as an earthy brown. Again, great formula. Also, a little tiny bit more of a curly finish, so it's a little bit more sheer on the first coat, but it's a very dark color, so you still get decent coverage. And this easily covered in two coats. It also maybe dried a little bit darker than when it was wet, but it wasn't a super significant difference. So that is two coats of Rooting For You. The next polish is called A Look at the Time, and this is just described as a rich green cream. The main photo on the Orly website looks so dark that I actually just got up and made sure that I had the right bottle here because my footage versus that photo looks nothing alike. This is a fantastic formula. It's very smooth. It levels out really nicely. It's very creamy, very opaque. This also easily covered in two coats, and again, it dried a little bit darker than when it was wet, but not a huge difference. So that is two coats of Look at the Time. So the next polish is called Back for S'more, and this is just described as the darkest olive. I had a little bit of ugly bottle syndrome at the back of this where it had been sitting on its back, but that doesn't affect the actual application as long as you give it a good shake. This is one of those very dark, almost black polishes, but it's not quite black. You can just barely tell that it's green. Great formula, slightly crelly, so a little bit sheer, but it did still cover completely for me in two coats. And it levels itself out really nicely, all of that as well. So that is two coats of Back for S'more. And the last polish is called No Fig Deal, and Orly describes this as a deep cream purple, but it definitely seems much more burgundy red to me. Good formula, slightly jellyish, but I find that most of these deep red polishes are kind of jellyish. They still build up fine. Very opaque, it evened out really well and covered completely on that second coat. So that is two coats of No Fig Deal. Predictable. So I really liked half of this collection. These are all my perfect kind of fall shades. So caught off gourd, really, really liked this. It's a really nice mustard color. It's like a little bit deeper, a little bit more orange than other mustards that I feel like I've seen recently, but not necessarily a unique color, but still one of my favorite fall colors. Same goes for Yam It Up. I really like a very rusty fall, crunchy leaves kind of orange, which is exactly what this one was. And look at the time. It's a dark sage green, so I'm gonna like this one as well. Nothing too outrageously unique, but a really good spread of colors and really good formulas. So that is the Orly Breathable Spice It Up collection for fall 2023. Again, I will link the Orly website down below where you guys can check those out because they are available right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.